Which you guys gonna have a rogue removal video here for you. This one is called Internet Security. It's the new version that's doing the rounds at the moment. And as you can see, it's doing a, a fake scan of my system and it's saying I'm heavily infected with uh, nasty infections. And you can see here with the wording that they've used to try and frighten you, okay? So as you can see here, uh, what it's doing is blocking the system, giving me pop-up boxes, warnings on the screen. Just ignore all these, they're all fake. You can't use any uh, anything like this, it will just close it down as soon as you try to do anything. Command prompt, uh, reg edit, all those types of things, it will shut those down for you. Also, if you try to use Internet Explorer, which is normally a given, they've now closed that down, you can't use that. Okay. Any other browser, it will shut down as well. So we're going to be using safe mode for this to try and uh, remove it. If I try to do a direct link here, um, it blocks it. So what we're going to do is use safe mode and remove it from there. But let's first have a look at the actual program itself. As you can see here, pretty much uh, it looks pretty convincing, but it is fake and uh, you're not to take any notice of it really. Um, but we'll have a look at it anyway. We'll go through here. As you can see another thing that it does is it wants to gain access to your computer it will pop up this box on your system I'm not allowing that to go through I just left it so, so I could show you but you don't want to allow this to go through okay you just want to cancel that okay that's actually trying to get access to go out and in of your computer so let's uh, get full-time uh, protection and we'll have a look at the actual page here so we'll activate now and it will take you to this page where it will con you out of your money so it's trying to make you pay for something that doesn't really work really that's the actual scamming part and you can see that it's quite hefty in price so they do make a hefty profit if they can get you uh, to pay for it so we're going to close this off now if you do want to actually activate it without paying for it then you can use uh, any email up the top here on the top and also this is the license key that you can put in here to confirm activation that won't remove it from the system what it will do is it will allow you to run Malwarebytes, Hitman Pro and all those other good tools from the desktop and it will allow you to run those things you can open Task Manager and all that sort of stuff okay it just registers it as you've paid for it okay and it's not cracking the software or anything it's totally legal to do because this is a, a virus so what we're going to do here is uh, move on to the location where it's hiding so we're just going to look here right click on the actual icon and you can see in the usual place in roaming folder here there is the actual culprit okay it's a hidden folder but we'll uh, get to there in a second okay so let's uh get into safe mode if you don't know how to get into safe mode or safe mobile networking then the actual instructions are on the screen right now let's quickly shut this down and restart okay so we're at the advanced boot options here and what we want to do is we're going to go into safe mode here okay we're just going to let this boot up okay so once that's loaded in we should be pretty much good to go okay as you can see it doesn't run in save mode here I'm going to close this off so what we want to do here is we're going to come down to the start bar here and uh, type reg edit then click on reg edit And what we're going to do, let me just make that a little bit smaller so you can see. Okay, so what we're going to do here next is a uh, H key local machine. We'll try this one first. We're going to go into software, Microsoft. And then we're going to come down to where it says Windows, current version. And then we want to come down to run. nothing in there so we're going to try the user account so we'll try user h key current user same thing really software 
I'm going to come down to where it says Microsoft and then down to Windows current version and then go to run and there we can see some files there that's the one we want internet security so I just pulled that across and as you can see there's the culprit that's causing the issue okay so I can see a couple of other bits and pieces in there so we're going to delete that one there and the main one that we're looking at really is this one here I'll just pull this across so you can see it this is the one we want to delete okay so we're going to delete this out of there and we're also going to delete that Microsoft Updater 87.exe that's looks a bit moody as well so now we've got that done we'll uh, just go back and now remove the actual file itself again we're going to go to C drive users Brightek and you can see that you can't see app data we need to show that file so we're going to go organize folder and search options view and then show hidden files folders and drives and take the tick out of hide extensions click OK and you should now see that folder go into there then hit roaming and there is the culprit there once we've deleted this that's the end of the game for that rogue so what we're going to do now is reboot the system and uh, hit download malwarebytes and give that a run I'm just going to delete these on the system here we don't need any of this stuff okay so let's reboot back to the desktop so we'll just let this load up okay now we're back at the desktop and that file should now not be running and we should now have our internet access so what you want to do here next is open up your browser and go to Malwarebytes get the free download click on download and we can run that just shut that window down there Now there's no hidden stuff inside here so you ain't got to worry about anything you can leave the trial for the pro version on if you wish and then once we've got this updated we'll give this a quick scan to make sure everything's gone from the system and run a quick scan there okay so that's the scan nearly finished there I want to show the results here as you can see we've got some other bits and pieces inside here so we're going to run this got a bit of a zero access thing going on here so we're going to re remove these it wants to restart but I'm going to say no here but you should restart there okay I'm just going to quickly run hitman pro here let this run okay as you can see we've got a bit of zero access on the system which has been dropped on the system and uh, what we're going to do here is run this and clean this off and then we're going to do a quick reboot once we need to activate this okay so that's now activated we can do a quick clean up of this now should be all deleted and then we'll do a quick reboot okay let this uh, boot up we'll just let this uh, clean off it's very important that you do other scans on the system just in case anything else has been dropped down on the system by that uh, rogue 
he may have picked up some other stuff. Okay, because we've had zero access on the system, we need to run another program to make sure we've got all our services running properly because it damages them or stops them. So you can see here, Firebar Service Scanner, we're going to be running this, and this will give it a quick scan and uh, tell us what's wrong with the system. And as you can see here, we've got a couple of issues going on. Okay, and there's a couple of things you can address this with. You can either address it with uh, some files. Okay, now the files, are these are the type of files that you can run to fix this. Or you can use a uh, Windows Repair Tool, which is what we're going to be uh, using from tweaking.com. Uh, so I'm just going to quickly tear this out onto the uh, desktop here. There we go. So what we're going to do is quickly run this. I'm going to run this as administrator. And uh, what we want to do is go to start repairs here. Go start. And it's, wanna, it's going to want to do a, a restore point. So you just say yes to this. let that do its thing just say uh, run and this will uh, do a quick restore point and a backup of the registry now we can go to start and then once we get inside here um, we're going to unselect them and uh, what we want to do is uh, registry permissions um, what we're going to do here is this one and that one. Repair Internet Explorer. Repair the host file. I think everything's okay. Repair the Winsot and DNS cache. Uh, remove temp files. And repair proxy settings. I'm going to repair Windows updates as well. And uh, I think that's going to be about it. So what we're going to do next is click on start. And this will then run through the process and repair those uh, for us. As you can see here. It'll just go through the process and run all those and fix them. Take some time. So just be patient. So all we need to do here now is run our program. And this will tell us um, if we've got any problems still. We should be all fixed up now. And there you can see we're all fixed. So we can get rid of those. We don't need those anymore. So that's basically that. Now you can also do online scan, ESET online scan. Just do ESET online scanner in Google there, and then you just go through the motions here. Just run this scanner here. It's a free tool to use, and uh, all you need to do is download this. It will download, then just run it. Say yes to that. Scan archives, advanced settings, and you want to make sure you potentially unwanted applications. Uh, just put the ticks in all of these here and then click start it will then download the database and then run a scan okay I'm going to cancel this now but basically you should be up and running once you get that cleaned off like that and you should be good to go so I hope this helps you out my name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk if you enjoy these videos hit that subscribe button guys also rate and favorite all my videos if you enjoy them and I'll be making more useful videos again in the future. Now, if you've got any video requests or anything like that then send me a message and I'll do my best to make those videos for you. And uh, have a great weekend guys and I'll see you again real soon. Bye for now.